Welcome to the Type 3 Screencast Index Search. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to get search functionality up and running using a popular extension, Index Search. In this screencast, I'm using Type 3 version 4.5, Index Search version 2.12, and for templating, I am using Template Volar version 1.7. Don't worry too much if any of your plugins are slightly newer or older than mine. We can split this tutorial into two phases, back end and front end. In the first phase, we will install Index Search and tell it to index all of the content on our site. In the second phase, we look at mapping the search box to the front end of our site and then configuring a page to display our search results. To begin with, let's make sure Index Search is installed on our site. Head to the Extension Manager. Index Search comes bundled with Typo3, meaning we don't have to go and download it from the Extension repository. As you can see, Index Search is highlighted in grey, meaning it's present but not currently installed on our system. So go ahead and install it. Type 3 will complain that it's missing certain documentation. Select Ignore and carry on with the installation. Index Search is now installed. However, we're not done yet. We've still got some more work to do. You will notice a new option under the Admin tab called Indexing. The Indexing page tells us how much content has been indexed so far. Up until now, nothing has been indexed, and this won't change until we tell Index Search to start indexing. Head to your template record. Here, I'm going to add a single line of TypeScript that tells Index Search to index all of the content on my site. Whenever a user browses your website, its content is indexed. So save the changes you have made and head to the front end of your website and browse through a couple of pages. Now, head back to the indexing page. As you can see, Index Search has now begun to index our content. So we've got our content indexed. We now move to phase two, where we look at adding a search box to our pages and displaying our search results. Adding a search box to our pages is just a matter of adding a few lines of TypeScript and then mapping it to our HTML template using Template Volar. Head back to your template record and add the following lines to your setup field. Essentially, what this code does is create a HTML search box that passes our search term onto the index search plugin. Take note of the identifier at lib.searchbox. We will come across this later on in the screencast. Save and exit, and now head into the Temple of Alar control center. We are now going to link the type of script we just created to a div in our template. This link we are about to create is called a type of script object path. Select template. Now select Modify DSTO. Now we are going to create a new element. Call it Search Box and select Add. Give it a title. Now select TypeScript Object Path from the drop down and select Add. To the left, you will notice a new option called TypeScript. 
By calling this element lib.search box, we are linking it to the blocker typer script we created earlier. Make sure it reads lib.search box and select map. Now we select the div that will contain our search box. Now, save and exit. Let's clear the cache as well. If we head back to the front end of our website and refresh the page, we should now see a search box appear. But we're not finished yet. If I search for something, I get an error message. This is because I haven't told Index Search where to display my search query. So let's create a new page in the back end of our site. First, I'm going to enable the page and then make sure it doesn't appear in my main menu. Now, I'm going to add the plugin. Select General Plugin. Now select Index Search from the drop down. Save and exit. Now we have a search box and a page setup ready to display our results. We just need to link the two together. Head back to your template record. Now we are going to add a single line of TypeScript to our constants field that tells our search box what page contains our results plugin. Save and exit and clear the cache. Let's reload the page and try our search again. And it works. Obviously you're going to want to apply some CSS to make it look a little more modern. And you can also further customize your search results by modifying its template. You'll find the template here but make sure you back it up before you begin making changes. And that's it. Thanks for watching this video, and for more information, visit typer3.org slash videos.